All right, we are back with some monster on the rise and we are going to try out the new chaotic Gormagala set. The set everyone's, well not everyone, a lot of people been saying it's like OP, you know, says you can't faint if you have the red, if you have red gauge and you know, we're gonna check it out and see how it performs. So. As usual, gonna go over the set. So, got Crit I 6, Resentment 5, because we'll be in red gauge. We'll have red gauge all the time, so it's plus 25 for um, for that. Plus 20, 25 attack automatically. Uh, water attack, because this set does um, boost element damage as well. So we're gonna max that out. Resuscitate because um, we'll have coalescence on, which is a um, a status effect, which will boost our attack up even further. Uh, crit boost, weakness exploit to you know obviously get more damage. Uh, coalescence, um, get more attack and evasion if you're suffering from a status, and if you recover from the frenzy. Um, you'll uh, get a boost to affinity and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, I'm sorry. We suffering from blight status, whatever. Um, attack up, element power up, status build up, and maxed out. I think it was bloodlust, which was the one that gave us. Uh, the frenzy, yeah. So, got burst, um, plus five element and attack. Um, every five hits gives a stat boost. Um, strife, which is the new ability, one of them. Um, you have red health gauge, you get increased attack power, and quarters to the length of the red gauge so um pretty much we'll be trying to increase the length of the red health gauge so we'll always be at max damage which means i might have to change my cat i might have to change it because even when you heal it remains red and I'll show you, I'll, you know, uh, explain in a second. And that's due to Berserk. When you switch to Blue Scroll, all vitality will change to Red Gauge, which is basically the recoverable health that you um, have whenever you get hit. So all that is going to be red. But even when you heal, it remains red. So most likely having a healing companion will probably be best to um, keep you at um, you know max red health and whatnot so and, and spirit birds call to um, you know get buffs along the way and whatnot so right now coalescence is on it's ticking we won't die here, but see right now we have 390 attack uh, with that boost. So this will switch to that. As you can see, the red gauge is the health gauge is red now. So 154 element, pretty pretty crazy. So, but as it's, as you see, it's ticking. So it's kind of like you have to be very cautious with it. As when the train area is going to reset. So. Now you see it's giving out pretty good damage. Um. Um. 
unfortunately, it's still not more damage than my standard set. So I can't even really consider consider using this because my standard set does more damage, and I don't have to deal with all the, you know, what ifs, you know, from the set. I don't have to deal with a glass cannon concept from the set. But says as long as we have red health gauge, we can't faint. So um you know all we can do is try it out and see you know if it's gonna hold weight or not. So I'm gonna try to set up a nice companion to complement this set and we'll see if we can hunt. Alright, so I switched with the healing companion so that um won't have to worry about uh keeping my red status going. So let's see if we can hunt. That's uh I guess reasonable. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to fight both of you. Yeah, why not? Can this. It's so let's see. I guess we gotta. We have to fight something formidable, so that you know we can um see if we just don't faint. All right. All right. Unless we're gonna find out that's the opposite. Cause I'll probably I don't know, I might have to take the risk and see if that's a thing. Let's go. Like if I'm near death, just like see if um I shouldn't do that. Not yet. Just for the simple fact that um It's for the simple fact that we're not at the monster yet. Oh, you will be standing right near that. Okay, so I I, I, I kind of see now that it's a uh, it's not free. And you probably have to ow. No. Oh, of course you uh Bring the healing bubble out, out when I'm running for my life. But what I also forgot to do is make both uh, both skills the same for both scrolls. Like I'll need to. You'll probably need to make both 
the red and the blue scroll the same setup. I don't see it working. So you won't exactly die. But oh, that's cute. Like, you don't even take damage. When you get hit, you don't even take damage. Apparently when you get hit, like, it'll drain faster. So you'll still faint if it just drains out like that. So it's it's a glass cannon type of situation. Like It's kind of a glass cannon sort of situation. Like, you really have to, like... You have to find something to mitigate losing all that health so quickly. Which I use... I try to use a healing companion, but... Doesn't seem to be... Uh working as such or I don't know if you have to like make sure coalescence is crocked so that would make sense too oh god I don't think it stops even when you mount up okay they throw your bone when you mountain it doesn't prop. So you kinda get a you kinda get a bit of relief from it. I'm at the wrong spot. You probably gotta not free. The way, people, the way people are trying to describe it is like it's free. Like once you slap it on like that's it. You don't have to do anything else.
Cat seems to suck at uh, healing for some reason. Yeah, it's not, it's not free. Like, you really gotta, um, pace how you do it. Like, I have to really sit and have some time with it to see how you can truly mitigate it. Basically, can't get hit. Watch out! I didn't want to see like the healing bat or anything from my uh, companion. Well, at least I got one dire wing. It seems like you'll be busy just trying to stay alive versus trying to do damage. Cause like if you get hit that red health drains incredibly fast like incredibly fast like like um imagine if you got like venom and fire blight going on at the same time on top of like dereliction like that health drains incredibly fast so I don't know. Maybe quick breath. Maybe quick breath could help with that. Um, maybe dereliction because once you know the Kiro start popping up and you switch skill, you get to gain health back. So maybe that. But this was kind of just like a. This is just what the straight chaotic Gormagala set. Like, um, with all just attack, you know, um, capabilities. Um, I'm thinking Blood Blight might have to go on the build, but it's like you pretty much can't get hit. So this might be great for like, like a long sword or uh, something with a shield you know long sword have you know uh, iframe counters and the shield like weapons with shields might benefit from this but it's just the health drain like you'll you'll be fighting that just as much as you fighting the monster so that's my take on um, Berserk. Um, I don't see in it. I don't see it as overpowered as people. Well, as far as what is people saying it is, I might look at some videos to see where they see it as being overpowered. I don't. I haven't experimented with it enough. But my take is it's kind of overrated, in my opinion. 
shorter description sounds nice but if your health drains that fast and mind you I had a health buff I was getting health buffs to you know extend the lifeline and even with that like the health was just zipping through like just insanely zipping through and it doesn't even do the same amount of damage as my standard build so I can't say it's overpowered you know you can always not worry about feigning just you know learning mechanics to the monster you know something like this it just seems like if you want to you know just wild out and go crazy and try to not worry about getting hit well not worry about fainting because it absorbs hits but it just drains your health just incredibly it just drains it when you get hit it's already draining it's already ticking down from the skill but then when you get a hit it really ticks down and if you got a blight on you like it's just running like water and you gotta like oh my god i gotta scramble to get out of here so um but that's my take on it um let me know what you think in the comments um if you've seen different this was just my demonstration on it um I gotta see, you know, other creators and see what they came up with. But my take is it's kind of overrated. You can just set up your standard DPS build and still get more damage from it. Even with all the perks and the the numbers looking great, when it hits the training dummy, it's like my standard build does more damage without all the hassle so that's it from me I'd like to thank you for watching um might come back we'll do some afflicted monster quests since we are at um a seven star technically anomaly quest um the grind of 200 will be very long um probably have to pace yourself probably do like 10 levels a day you could probably do more but the fact that you gotta fight all the nasty hard-hitting monsters like seething basil and raging rajang silver rathlos um gold raytheon um flaming espinas like all the you know all the sit up and lean forward type of monsters you know um, too much stress you know that's uh, never a good thing but stay tuned do the proper thing like share subscribe and I'll see you then peace